हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द फोर्थ सेशन ऑफ बालाजी इन थर्ड सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फिशन मोड ऑफ ए सेक्सुअल प्रोडक्शन एंड वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बाइनरी फिशन इन डिटेल टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द मल्टीपल फिशन अनदर मोड ऑफ ए सेक्सुअल प्रोडक्शन दैट इज नोन एज मल्टीपल फिशन मल्टीपल मींस मेनी एज आई टोल्ड यू मल्टीपल मींस मेनी द सिंगल सेल डिवाइड्स इनटू मेनी pieces and give rise to many cells that is multiple fission the best example is that of plasmodium all of you know plasmodium is a parasite that causes malaria when it enters into the rbcs of the human being it is known as cryptomerozoite it is a single cell when it enter into the rbc it forms schizont stage here it divides the same way of division first the nucleus divide into many pieces then some small amount of cytoplasm accumulate around each nucleus and form a cell there is a some basic division between the binary fission and multiple fission first of and foremost keep during binary fission two cells are formed and multiple fission many cells are formed binary fission mein no residue is left but during multiple fission small amount of the cytoplasm left behind that is known as residual substance residual volume that is the difference another difference is that during multiple fission it takes place mostly during unfavorable condition when the conditions are favorable a unis an unicellular organism reproduces by binary fission but during favor unfavorable conditions they reproduce by multiple fission in this process a hard coat around the cell is formed a very hard covering around the cell is formed this is known as cyst hard covering is known as cyst it is a protecting covering that is going to protect the cells daughter cells present inside the uh, main cell from the unfavorable condition it is going to protect them when you want to conditions are favorable this cyst will break and all the daughter cells will come out and start behaving like a new living organism this is the mode of multiple fission now we are coming to the another mode of reproduction that is budding budding what is bud it is an outgrowth from the body of the parent take the example of hydra in the case of hydra from the body of the parent a uh, outgrowth arises that is known as bud this bud may come from the body of the parent that is exogenous sometimes it develops these buds are developed inside the body of the parents that is known as endogenous bud or these buds are commonly known as gemmule the method is known as gemmule formation also first we will discuss about exogenous growth budding exogenous me i told you that the example is hydra in this an outgrowth a bud is formed this bud slowly developed into a new individual give rise to another hydra and after that it detached itself from the body of the parent and start behaving like a new individual another example is that of yeast yeast is a uh, an unicellular organism that is having only one cell but it reproduces by budding only and bud formation is exogenous from the tip of the cell the bud arises and develop into new individual but it does not detaches itself most of the cases it does not detach itself from the parental body and form a chain like structure So these are the example of exogenous budding. Now, endogenous budding is take place in the sponges. Example is spongilla. Here, the cells are buds are formed inside the body of the living organism. They are known as archaeocytes. These archaeocytes remain protected with the help of spicules. A hard coat is present around that is made up of spicules that protect them and whenever the conditions are favorable uh, through a 
an opening that is known as micropyle. The opening is known as micropyle. Through micropyle, these archaeocytes come out and germinate, give rise to the new embryo. Next topic that is spore formation that we will discuss in fifth section. Thank you.